Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Regular Learning Academy. I am Dr. Krishna Sharkar, Department of Electrical Engineering. Here in this session, I will be going to discuss about state space analysis example four by five by direct decomposition technique. Lecture series on state space analysis, lecture 14. So our topic, state space analysis, example five. Example five, obtain the state's variable and state diagram and draw signal flow graph by direct decomposition method of the following. So this is our transfer function, ys by us, ys by us equals to one by s cube plus nine s square plus 26 s plus 24. This is our transfer function. From this transfer function, calculate state matrix, state equations, state diagram, signal flow graph, and determine the stability of the system. The solution, step one, the given transfer function can be written as ys by us equals to one by s cube plus nine s square plus 26 s plus 24. Then cross multiply us into one and ys into s cube plus nine s square plus 26 s plus 24. And we get s cube into y of s, nine s square into y of s, 26 s into y of s, plus 24 into ys equals to u of s. This is the equation number one. Then taking the inverse Laplace transform of the equation one, and we get taking inverse Laplace transform in equation one, and we get s cube into ys equals to d3 y of t by dt3 plus 9, 9, s square y of s equals to d2 y of t by dt2 plus 26, s into y of s equals to d of y t by dt plus 24 into y of s equals to y of t equals to u of s equals to u of t. By taking inverse Laplace transform, this is the differential equation. This is third order differential equation. And where u of t equals to input, this input may be step, ramp, parabolic, impulse, sinusoidal, any type of input you can apply. And y of t equals to what? y of t equals to system output. And this is the position output. And dyt by dt equals to velocity, rate of change of output. And d to y of t by dt t equals to acceleration. So, so Position to velocity, output changes from position to velocity, velocity to acceleration, and acceleration to higher order. So y of t equals to variable, and this is equals to x1 variable, this is another variable, this is another variable, this is also another variable. So taking the state variable. Next step, step number two, taking the state variable y of t equals to what? y of t output equals to first state variable x1. y of t equals to first state variable x1. Differentiate both sides in equation, this equation, differentiate both sides and we get y dot t equals to x1 dot equals to another state variable x2. This is y dot t equals to x2. That means dy t by dt equals to x2. Again, differentiate both sides and we get y double dot t double dot t equals to x1 double dot equals to x2 dot equals to another state variable x3. This is equivalent to x3. Again, differentiating both sides and we get x3 dot t. This is the x3 dot t or dt dt y of t by dt3 equals to x1 triple dot t equals to x2 double dot equals to x3 dot. So y triple dot equals to d3 y of t by dt3 equals to x of 3. So put here y of t equals to x1. 
dyt by dt equals to next variable x2 and d2yt by dt2 equals to x3 this position x3 and d3yt by dt3 equals to x3 dot then we get now substituting the state variable in equation one and we get this is the equation number one and we get this is x3 dot this is 9 into x2 dot this is 26 into x1 dot plus 24 into x1 and put x1 dot x2 dot value and we get x3 dot plus 9 into x3 x2 dot equals to x3 26 into x1 dot equals to x2 plus 24 into x1 x1 equals to u of t this is equation number two and x3 dot equals to then x3 dot equals to minus 24 into x1 minus 26 into x2 minus 9 x3 plus u of t this equation is called state equation because left hand side only differentiation terms or derivative terms and free of differentiation terms right hand side so this is or that this type of equation is called state equation another equation x2 dot x2 dot equals to what x2 dot equals to x3 from state variable and x1 dot equals to x2 from state variable from state variable means x1 dot equals to x2 and x2 dot equals to x3 this is the important terms then step three the state space equations can be represented as follows this is our first equation x1 dot 0 x1 plus 1 into x2 plus 0 into x3 plus 0 into ut and x2 dot equals to 0 into x1 plus 0 into x2 plus 0 into 1 into x3 plus 0 into ut because x3 dot equals to x3 and x1 dot equals to only x2 and x3 dot equals to already put minus 24 into x1 minus 26 into x2 minus 9 into x3 plus u of t this is the x1 dot x2 dot and x3 dot then the state space matrix or state matrix can be written as x1 dot x2 dot x3 the left hand side x1 dot x2 dot x3 dot and x1 coefficient 0 1 0 0 1 0 x2 coefficient 0 0 1 0 0 1 and x3 coefficient minus 24 minus 26 minus 9 and x1 x2 x3 x1 x2 x3 plus u coefficient input u coefficient 0 0 1 0 0 1 u of t this is the state matrix this is the state matrix and this is equivalent to x dot equals to x plus b u where x dot equals to x1 dot x2 dot x3 dot equals to a in a equals to this matrix x equals to this matrix b equals to this matrix and u equals to u of t a is the constant system matrix of order n cross n. B is the input coupling matrix of order n cross r. And u is the n r cross 1 input matrix. x dot equals to x plus b u is called the state equation. Again, y equals to cx plus d u is called output equation. And y is a m cross 1 output vector. This is m cross 1 output vector and c is m cross n system matrix d is the m cross r transmission matrix so y equals to cx plus du is called the output equation here m equals to 1 and yt equals to what the output yt equals to x1 first state variable yt equals to x1 so put output yt equals to 1 0 0 x1 x2 x3 because others value 0 and only x1 1 into x1 state space analysis now comparing with equation 6 and 7 and we get a equals to this and b equals to this again comparing with the equation 9 and 10 we get output 1 0 0 where d is the null matrix of 0 and y equals to c of x plus because d equals to null actual equation y equals to cx plus d u and put d equals to zero then y equals to cx only the output matrix step number six the state diagram from the equation three four and five equation three this is the x1 dot only x2 value and x2 dot only x3 value and x4 dot 
x4 dot x3 dot sorry x3 dot minus 24 into x1 minus 26 into x2 minus 9 into x3 plus u of t this is the equation number three by using the state equation we can easily draw the state diagram this is shown in figure this is shown in figure this is the state diagram for third order system for third order system for third order system t summing point summing point one summing point two summing point three that means three comparator and for third order system three integration integration one integration two integration three and this is the input u of t this is the input u of t so this value input value and this is the x3 dot x3 dot equals to minus 24 in x1 minus 26 into x2 minus 9 into x3 plus u of t so this is the u of t x3 dot equals to u t and x3 dot integrate x2 dot x2 dot equals to what x2 dot equals to x3 that means this is x3 so 9 minus 9 into x3 this feedback minus 9 into x3 so x3 dot equals to minus 9 into x3 plus u of t this is the minus u of t and this is the minus 9 into x3 and x2 dot integrate x1 dot x1 dot equals to x2 and x2 coefficient minus 26 minus 26 into x2 this is minus 26 into x2 so minus 26 into x2 minus 24 into x1 sorry minus 9 into x1 plus u of t complete and third value x1 dot integrate this is x1 equals to y of t this is the output and constant value minus 24 minus 24 into x1 so x3 dot equals to minus 24 into x1 minus 26 into x2 minus 9 into x3 plus u of t this is the x3 dot this is the basic block diagram state diagram of the linear system then draw signal flow graph this is the block diagram so draw signal flow graph this is the signal flow graph for three summing point or comparator comparator one this is node number one comparator two this is node, node number two comparator three this is node number three and this is the integration one this is integration two this is integration three this is integration three and this node node this node this node are is this four five and six so ut equals to input y of t equals to output so this point to four one two three four four to three minus nine four to three minus nine five to two minus twenty six five to two minus twenty six six this is six not six to one minus twenty four this is the signal flow diagram for a linear system model thank you